Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial in digital painting on the Ibis Paint X application. Go ahead and open the app, then my gallery, and then the plus sign here on the toolbar up top. Easily like this, we have access to the different formats and options for the canvas we are going to use. Based on the options we have on this window and what we're going to work on, we can choose the proper canvas. The first option that we see here is the import picture which allows us to add a picture as our canvas for the work instead of a white page. Then on the second row we have the option to select the width and height of our canvas manually by scrolling on these toolbars. We have a box up there as well which allows us to type the measurements we want for the canvas there. We can type the numbers here and then tap on OK to save it. So keep in mind that as these numbers grow, the quality of the canvas increases as well. So we won't have that many pixels on the screen. On the lower parts of the toolbar, we have default formats for the canvas. We can choose more formats within each option by tapping on the sign on the right of them, like so. For now, we want a square canvas, which is a one by one with this format. So we tap on the option that we want. Please look at my hand movements and tap with your pencil after me. This is our canvas, which we will be working on. Now you can use two fingers to change the position of the canvas. And then on the toolbar down here, below the canvas, there are different tools that we can access. If we tap the second option, which has a circular shape, that's the option for the brush window. And there you have access to different brushes that you can choose from depending on how you're going to work on your sample. Some of the brushes are not free, but if you tap on the lock orange option on the right, you can have access to it after watching an advertisement. After we watch the advertisement, the brush would be free for us for 18 hours. We can easily use all of our brushes then. Here on the left scale, we can adjust the size of our brush. Look at my hand movements, please. And on the right scale, we can adjust the opacity of our brush manually. So here's the left scale and here's the right scale. To be even more accurate, we can use the plus and minus signs on the end of the scales to adjust the size and opacity, like so. At this point, we select our brush and start to draw a line on the canvas. So to select your brush, press here, select the opacity. I'm going to use this brush and draw a simple line on the canvas. Now we're going to reduce the size of the brush in this way and draw another line. If we drew anything wrong or wanted to remove anything, we could easily tap on the fifth option on the lower toolbar and undo the step. Again, we select our brush and keep drawing lines. Find out how they perform. So here on our canvas, having selected a brush and drawing a line, reducing the size of the brush, playing with it and reducing the opacity, changing the toolbar here. Now we're going to change the size back to what it was and reduce the opacity through the right scale. And this is how our brush changes. Use your finger shortcut like I showed you at first to zoom in so you can take a look at the lines just like I did. When we reduce our opacity or increase it, this is what our lines look like. And now we're going to use the eraser on the left toolbar here and erase what we have drawn till now. So press this icon, press the eraser thickness that you want. And again, change its size and opacity with the two scales we have down here. This is how we simply adjust the eraser and erase the parts we have just drawn. In our drawing process, if we ever needed to go back in the previous lines and details we have worked on, we can use the undo button option. It's here, down on the right here. And as you can see it, we can easily go back to the previous steps, something you can't do when you're drawing on pen and paper. 
We can also move forward through the steps we have taken using the next option to the right of the undo and it brings the steps back. So we erase them one more time with our brush in this way and get ready to become familiar with the other tools and options on this application. By tapping on that option, it's called the stabilizer. So I'm gonna draw a line quickly, like so. Now, if you tap on the stabilizer and turn it off and then practice drawing a line, I'll then show you the difference by turning the stabilizer back on and drawing another line. So now turn the stabilizer back on. Here we go. Draw another line just over the stabilizer line, which was off. And as you can see, the lower line, we can detect the hand's shakiness. Where on the second line, the one on the top is much more stable. We do not have the shakiness. So now that you know what the stabilizer is for, I hope you have it on every time you are going to start your work so you avoid having hand shakiness in the lines and your work in general. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Make sure you send me all your questions please and I'll see you in other lessons. Bye for now.